In my last video, I already explained you if we apply a VGS on the get side, then a end channel is formed in the end type enhancement type MOSFET. And this is the end channel. And we know the voltage needed to create this end channel is called VT. It's called threshold voltage. But the quantity of charge, the quantity of charge in this N channel is depend upon the excess VGS. That means after we create the channel, if we increase more, the VGS increase more, then that voltage determine the how much charge will be there. That means the overdrive voltage is equal to VGS minus VT. Now, just think the channel of this, sorry. The length of this channel is L and the width of this channel is W. So L is equal to length of N channel and W is equal to width of N channel. So the area A is equal to we can write down W multiplied by L. Now let's see here. Here we have the metal plate. This is the metal plate. This is the inter semiconductor, and here we have the dry electric. So these three will combinedly make a capacitor. And this capacitor is formed due to this silicon dioxide is the SiO2 channel okay so now for this capacitor we think COX is the capacitor per unit area and the unit will be fired per meter square okay now we need to calculate the charge due to this VGS at that time this will be not connected okay now what we calculation are doing now at that time, VDS is not connected. That means VDS is equal to zero. At that time, only voltage source is the VGS. So now we need to calculate the charge in this area. So the, so the formula of the charge is Q is equal to what? C into V. So we already know that C is the total capacitor. So the COX is the capacitor per unit area. So we can write down COX. Sorry. COX multiplied by A and multiplied by VOV. Why VOV? As this VOV determines that how much charge will be there in this N channel. Okay, as I already explained. So now just put the value of A COX multiplied by W multiplied by L and VOV. Again, we all know C is equal to epsilon into D by A. This is the formula of the capacitor, right? Here, C sign means the epsilon of the oxide, SI2. And we already say here, sorry, this will be. And we all know the formula of the capacitor C is equal to epsilon into A by D. Here, epsilon is the epsilon oxide, okay? and here area is 1 as I already explained you here the unit area so divided by D. D is the distance between the two plate that means here if you see the diagram if you see the diagram D is the distance between this two plate or we can say the thickness of this SiO2 layer right so we can say here epsilon ox multiplied by t of the ox okay so this thickness it depend upon in the fabrication process how much silicon dioxide you want to coat in that layer okay and okay so this is the charge so q is equal to c o x multiplied by w multiplied by l multiplied by V O V. So this is the charge 
due to the VGS voltage source. Okay. Now let's apply the VDS. Now let's apply the VDS voltage source, but this will be very small. Okay. If we apply the VDS, that means at that time a small current will flow. Small current will flow from this channel. That current we call it ID. Is the drain current. Okay. This drain current is depend on the how much charge is flow through this channel from source to drain. Right. So for this current calculation, we need to consider the charge per unit length. That will be Q divided by charge per unit length. So from this equation, if we just take this, uh, this L in just in the denominator, this will be C O X multiplied by W multiplied by V over drive. Okay, so this will be equation two. This will be equation one. Now, when we apply a voltage source VDS, then a electric field will generate in this area, a uniform electric field. And we all know for the constant electric field, the formula E is equal to voltage divided by the length, right? Length of this channel. So it will be VDS divided by L. And due to this electric field, the charge will flow from this side to this side. Okay. So we can write down the electron dip velocity is equal to is equal to mu n multiplied by E. So mu n sorry mu n multiplied by vds divided by l where mu n is the mobility of the electron okay so go to the next page so here we have the electron dip velocity we have the charge we have the charge per unit length right so the current id so the current id is equal to charge per unit length multiplied by grid velocity if we put this one that will be cox w v o v multiply by dip velocity is mu n into v d s divided by L. so if we just combine together then it will be p o x multiplied by w divided by l into mu n into v o v into v d s so just rearrange the equation i d is equal to c o x into mu into w by l multiplied by v o v into v d s so when you apply the small voltage v d s then the current equation will be i d is equal to k I just term is a constant k multiplied by v o v multiplied by v d s where this part is a k this part will be the k this will be k okay so now just think about here so i d is equal to if we just put the value of v o v is equal to v g s minus v t multiplied by v d s the Vt is constant, K is constant, Vt is constant. That means 
for a particular value of VGS, if we keep the constant VGS, then ID is directly proportional to the VDS. So if we make a plot, this side is the VDS, this side is the ID. For a particular VGS, the what will be the current? Like this. Okay, for the particular VGS. If we decrease the VGS, then what will it look like? So this will be VGS 1, VGS 2, this will be VGS 3. So you understand why this looks like, like this? So this one is the triad region, what I already explained in you in my last video. Okay, so when you apply a very small voltage VDS, then the current will be go linear like this okay in my next video i will explain you if we increase the vds from this side from this side or more than this one then how it looks like i already draw here the the current will be looks like this it will be saturation so in my next video i will explain you how this saturation is works like I will again uh, construct the current equation for the saturation region when I increase the VDS and why it saturate. I will explain you that one. So in my next video, I will increase the VDS furthermore and then I will show you why this current will be constant in this part. So that's all from this video. Thanks for watching. And uh, uh, one more thing. The, um, when, from from now whenever i upload any video in my first pin comment i will give you the uh, pdf copy of this one that means the pdf copy of the notes i will give you the drawings and the notes in the, my pdf copy so when you you don't need to write down the notes when i make the video you just understand the concept for the notes i will upload in this black one you just print out that one is that will be that will be fine for you okay thank you thank you for watching my video and Share this concept with your friend and like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.